Hey everyone, Judd Burton here from Asphalt Kingdom. We're here at the National Pavement Expo 2020, right here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm here with Rick from Zebra Line Striping. And Rick's uh, from, where are you from, Rick? I'm from Bristol, Virginia. Bristol, Virginia. And are you a full service asphalt maintenance company? Yes, we are. We do seal coating, crack sealing, and striping. Right on. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, we've been doing this about eight years. Eight years, right yeah. on. What got uh, you in the business? Well, we were, we've been in the rock quarry business and different things, and then, uh, uh, we got into building houses and the housing market got slow in 08, so we kind of switched over and started uh, uh, doing striping and doing parking lot work and we've kind of escalated down to where we do airport work and stuff mostly. Fantastic. So you scaled the business? Yes. Growing fast? Yeah. Fan yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yes. Fantastic. Was last year your best year? Last year was pretty good. We had a lot of rain and weather in our region, so it kind of dampened things down a little bit. but but. Uh, uh, but it was, it was still a good year, but we were looking to have a better year, hoping to have a, even a better year this year. Fantastic, and seal coating is very difficult in the rain, but were you able to get a lot of crack sealing done last year? We, we did, we did quite a bit of crack sealing. Uh, uh, we, we do, like I said, we do a lot of airport projects, so the runways will have a lot of cracks in them typically. And, Tell us about the airport projects. Uh, one of the airports we did uh, was at uh, Crossville, Tennessee. Uh, it was a general aviation airport, and uh, we did approximately about 100,000 linear feet of cracks on this airport. Wow, and, and what did you use to clean the cracks? Uh, we have, well, we have a, a kind of a multitude of things. We've got a billy goat grazer for vegetation and things, and then we've got the torches. We've got a, a KLM International yep. uh, heat lamps. Yep. Uh, and then uh, uh, different different methods yep. like that. that right on. Used to crack clean with. Right on, and then from a crack sealing perspective, do you use push melters and stationary melters or just push melters? What are you using for crack carts? Well, we use a combination of things. We, we have two Craftco, uh, we have a 250 Craftco trailer melter, and then we have a 125 hot shot. And then we also have a, a variety of uh, uh, crack carts. And we've got, uh, we've got about eight Sealmaster MA-10s and a Gingway or two, and then we, we're looking to try something different because we're always having this trouble with keeping the torches lit and keeping 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 them going. So we bought one of your all's units this past year. One of the RY10 Pros. Oh, one of the Pros, yes. One of the enclosed burner systems, yes. the Electric Start one. Yes. And how did you find that performed compared to the Sealmaster torch-driven units and the Gainway units? It performed superbly. It, it outperformed two to one. Two to one. Yeah. Okay. We, I understand. We, we could get a lot more production. Our biggest obstacle is always just trying to keep it lit from the wind. And the airports are always windy because you have no trees and sure. anything to block the wind. So so that's always our biggest obstacle was trying to keep them lit and trying to keep our heat going if the wind gets up 15, 20 miles an hour. You know, I, one thing that's really incredible about RhinoWorks, and I'll tell you, because I know the president of the company very well, and I've been involved with the, kind of that engineering process as well, communicating with them, the engineer in the company. Right. It's really what we're doing is we're taking our customers' feedback and what we're yeah. trying to do is constantly improve, right. right? So as we get feedback about torches being you know, extinguished and so on, right. there's a safety issue and there's also just, a, it's a pain in the ass, yeah. right? Like ultimately right. you have to end up going back and relighting right. it and yeah. bending down, pushing the torch back in. It right? is, it is, and then when you put several men out there, it's always a concern, you're always concerned about your mind about them because when they do go out, they go out every three minutes or every five minutes, well, they're still pumping gas and they're still filling the chamber up with gas and then back here, you've got, here you've got young guys that don't understand fully about the way propane works, and here they, they pull it Oof. out and light it and stick it back in, and it'll jump off the ground. You know? Right, right. So, <laughs> and, you're, and you always worry about that. Yeah, know? so safety is probably one of the most important things, right, with your crews? Right. right. Yeah, so the RY10 Pro has, has done that, and now with yes. the RY10 Elite, I mean, we don't, you know, there's in the front, you no longer have that electric start and the right. hose out in the front, right? Yeah. So there's nothing to bang it into. Right. The RY10 Elite has really solved all of the problems uh, along the way. Right. So, you know, there's kind of this evolutionary process of yeah. development. And that's one thing that RhinoWorks is really committed to is, is constantly improving. Right. And uh, I believe you just got the RY10 Elite here at the National Pavement Expo. I did, I just, uh, just made a purchase for one. I really like the looks of it. I like the changes, it was changes that I would have Wanted to recommend after using that one. There was a couple of things there, and, and you know, did it. addressed every one of those. Yeah. Right on. Well, and, that's, and that's I'm excited awesome. to get to get the chance to use one uh, and try it out. And if, and if they work like they think we'll, we're, we're going to change our, our whole fleet, all of our fleet. You know, sell the ones we've got and get get all those. Right on. Well, well, what I'd like to definitely do is, as you're going through that process, please keep in touch with me, and I'll give you. I'll right. go ahead and email you right when we finish this interview okay. with my information, and just know that I'm always there for you as well. Okay. Okay. All, all right. right. Rick. I really right. appreciate your time today. Oh yeah. Everybody, yeah. you heard it. Zebra uh, Zebra Striping LC. This is Rick. Thank you so much for your time. We're here at the National Pavement Expo. Thanks for tuning in.